Hey guys, it's Wush. I'm back, pals. I'm playing Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, which is the fourth installation in the main series. Yay! I don't really know much about the game because I don't I don't really watch gameplay. Well the game's still in development. I like to experience it all for myself. So I tried my best in my first gameplay video to explain some of the features that I found and look for the menus and stuff, which is what it always is whenever I do a video of a new game. So let's look at the menu. What what? First we do the D-pad. Standard Assassin's Creed D-pad. But now we have like treasure maps, which is new. And yeah, that's about it. I don't have much unlocked right now, but I have dual pistols. And what's neat is you can actually fully aim your pistol this time. And I don't know how to get my second one out. We're in for can at this point. But yeah, dual pistols, dual swords. I didn't even know any of this was a feature. That's neat. And treasure map. In my next gameplay two, maybe, I might be doing some sea voyage. Even though I wasn't all that into that. It seems to be a big fit part of this game if like, because the map looks huge, which I'll show you in a second. So here's a treasure map that I got, that I'm going to save for the next video. Oh, that guy just pushed me. Corners bottom right, and then a little drawing of where the treasure will be on the island. So let's quickly look at the map. Okay, coordinates, yay. And it's it's fairly big. It's I li I'm liking the map a lot more this time. When when you have an explored, and it really makes you want to get to vantage points and synchronize, because the map looks a lot better when you um, the mini map looks a lot better when you actually have synchronized. If you look at the zoom out a little bit, you can see the scale of this game. So that's where I am right now, and this is all the places you can go in your boat, and it's pretty damn big. So this is just one area. It's not very, and you can see this is I don't know what it means, like medium there. Getting a lot of money. Fun. Medium again. But it looks like a very big game. Hard. And this is where I've just got to in the game, I think. I'm not very far in. About an hour or two. But as you can see, it's a very, very big game. Anyway. So let's look at the legend now. LT. So, main missions... Yeah, fairly standard stuff. Um, what has been updated, what I just remembered from seeing the tail don't kill, the eagle vision. Like, when you've locked onto people in the game, you can... Their model kind of overlaps everything, which is really neat. So, Edward's got a bit more power than all previous assassins, which didn't make much sense. But, whatever. So, it's all fairly standard. Hopefully there's no spoilers in here. Shops, only a general shop and harbour master. Like, missing a few, but I guess the general shop just sells everything this time. There are all the collectibles, um, chests, same as always, animus fragments. Haven't really looked into them. Shanties, um, when you're um, using your boat, the pirates? Yeah, pirates. They can sing some songs, and so it's not the same song all, over and over again get some more shanties and they can sing more songs. Um, cadaver, that's where you get the, the treasure chests. I haven't seen a plan yet. I found one letter and I don't think any manuscripts. Enemies. Hmm. Yeah, I've seen a survivor in the sea. I don't know if he would join your your team though. Your, your ship. I don't want me to find out. Hunting's back. And I'm pretty sure that like each area has specific animals you can actually hunt. So let's have a quick look. Oh, legendary ship. Interesting. So when you're playing the game, if you press RB, hold it down, you can see what you've done in the area, which is a really nice feature. So only got four viewpoints, none of the assassin contracts, chests, song sheets, animus fragments, and secrets. Now, if you if I go to another area where there's actually animals that you can actually hunt, it will show you what animals are actually there, which is pretty fun. So now I'm going to quickly go around and stop talking and show you guys some of the fighting and free running mechanics, how it differs or how it doesn't differ. Oh, I completely derped. <laughs> 
Um, I did not do the main menu. Let's look at the main menu real quick. So, start button. So, progress tracker. I'm not going to ignore that. Just close your eyes, guys. Spoiler free, this is Jackdaw, which is your ship. We can do your upgrades here. So, I'll have a quick look through this. So, very expensive stuff. A similar thing to Assassin's Creed 3. But you can do this all in the menu, I guess. I don't know. Can I buy anything right now? Available in shops. Yeah, lots of really neat things. Appearance? Oh, no way. Yeah, so some of those aesthetic changes make it look all pretty. Yeah, loads of cool stuff. Let's look at Edward Upgrades. So, actually, I haven't even messed around with this. Oh no, these are just so that you can get in the shop as well. You can do crafting in this game like before. I'll do that first actually, then I'll go for all the menus. So you can upgrade your you can upgrade your um, holsters all through the menu now. So you need some crocodile leather and you can get some cool stuff. So it, it makes you go around looking for different animals for every upgrade, which is really cool. So you can craft some outfits. Now I don't really like the look of any of those, so I might give them a miss. Other than when I go for my 100% playthrough, which I'll be recording on my PC. But I'll give them a miss for now. And so now let's look for all the Edward upgrades. Or not, and the outfits. Okay, that's pretty much all the menu, but that looks really cool. I want that one. Okay, anything else to show? Crafting. Yeah, been through that. Inventory. Treasure maps, quest items, hunting goods. I mean, it's just all pretty fairly um, self-explanatory. These are my least popular videos where I do all the menus, but I, this is what I'd want to watch. So I'm going to try to get this as short as possible. It looks like I'm already nearing 10 minutes. Whoops. Stogo challenges. So, minor little things that I've been doing. Yeah, I'll leave that for now, and I'll go kill some things and run around and jump on buildings. Fun! Thank 
Grazie. My thanks. I'm your man now, Capitano. My thanks. I'm your man now, Capitano. Okay, now it's a quick note. Fast traveling in this game. Oh, what? 
That's interesting. For some reason, all the icons are showing up on, like... Maybe it's because I'm, I'm on this. This shows you what Edward sees. That's neat. So if I get off of it... Oh, that's really neat, that is. So you can technically play this... Uh, yeah. You can play this game without even using the map. Like, go all hoodless. That's really neat. I like that. Right. So, what I should say is, how you fast travel in this game is by viewpoints. So, we go to the map. And, here we are. You can see, like, the usual tunnel symbol on the viewpoint. So, if I wanted to go... Where is one? Here. Go to the viewpoint. Fast travel with X. That also works... If other place that being, so if I want to go... There. Cape Bonavista. Fast travel. Very easy. And I'll quickly make a note of this eagle vision. See the little dots that they get above the heads? That means I can see them through everything. Look at that guy. He's not obviously on this building. He's down there. It's a pretty cool new eagle vision. Apparently you can get ten people with this. So now I'm just going to go mess these guys up a little bit. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, Snipers are a lot more repaining in the ass this game round. Good work, Captain. I'll find the other lads. Ah! <sighs> 